Hi lovely people. I welcome back to Abby. I'm gonna I think I'm just gonna film this and upload it. Um having one of those times where I just need to talk and vent and like get things off my chest and out of my mind. Um I filmed one of these videos before and I think it's coming up in the series and don't think I want to edit it just because I don't know what my mental like editing a video where like, you're going through it and then you're not out of the situation looking back on that video is very hard to watch especially when like, I, I, I edit I watch my videos about like five six different times and just don't want to see myself hurting you know but I remember I was also very happy with my life at that time so it shouldn't be as bad as I think it is. But the main point of this video is get things off my chest. I feel so out of it recently. Um, and it's so strange for me because I've never had problems like this. I've always was, I always was the one with the mental problems. Like the anxiety, the depression, the depression, the, the depression. Um, and now it's not that. It's none of that. And... On one hand, I'm grateful, not gonna lie, I'm gonna keep my head like this, because this is helping my headache so much. So, on one hand, I'm very grateful and happy that I'm not struggling with that. We'll see how... <laughs> I kind of think one of the reasons why my, my social anxiety is so, like, calm right now is because I don't have to be social. But it's, that's not the full thing, like, I've been working on myself, but also, who's talking to anyone in Corona? sorry six feet two meters please like where, where's your mask Susan anyways <laughs> um I've just been thinking right I'm just not happy with something and one what's making me not happy is that I'm a person that talks really freely. Is this annoying, you guys? I'm sorry, I'm still not going to stop it. It really is helping my headache. I'm a person that talks freely. I don't like having to censor myself. Um, and obviously, that leads me into a lot of situations because, like, I'm not the best, like, PC person. Um, PC mean politically correct. I say offensive things without meaning to. But at the same time, I'm more than happy to explain myself and then, like, say sorry. Like, I'm fine. Like, I'm learning new things all the time like I learned a term recently what is ableist and I was like how is that ableist that's something like my teachers would say to me and then I started researching and like oh I get why that's ableist um I'm gonna say it because then I'll be saying it you know um but yeah like I've had a de de deterioration. I'm trying to find the cause of my deterioration. Because one, my brain is just not how it used to be. And like, oh yeah, you're getting older, but I'm only 21. Like, I'm still so fucking young. Probably gonna be swearing in this video. I'm so fucking young to be going through all this, t this, this t things that my brain and body's going through i'm still 21 like humans meant to live to the 80 our body's breaking down now so i have to continue no, i have to continue my head hurts i have to continue this whole breaking down for how many more years what another 40 years another 60 years with these breaking down problems nah mate that's not me um but yeah so i'm trying to find the cause of it i do think a lot of it is mental because I'm the type of person, like, once I've made my mind, once I've done, like, the mental work, the physical work just falls in line. And why did I get to here? Oh, I was talking about how... My phone's going to die. Oh, my gosh. The headache's going to come back. Yeah, so I was talking about... Let me just stop. Yeah, so I was talking about how I just like being open and talking and not being, like, sensual myself. But there's so many things going on in my life right now. Well, I have to censor myself, or I can't just talk. 
because it involves more than just me. And it's like, ah, uh, people leave me alone, fam. <laughs> like, honestly, just leave me alone. Because if you leave me alone, I can chat and then get things off my chest. And plus, if you leave me alone, I'm going to be going through this in the first place. <sighs> but, on another note, because that's not the reason why I'm filming this video. I do think that's the reason why I've been getting so much headaches because, like, I'm not stressed. I'm getting close to being stressed. If things haven't changed by, like, March the 5th, I will start to stress the fuck out because only so much a girl can handle being in the same situation for four months. Well, it's been longer than four months, but only so much a girl can handle. Um, in terms of the... I'm tired of my brain. Every day I lose train of thought. Why is it called train of thought? You know what I was saying the other day, right? Side note is that once I've lost my thought process, um, I have to follow the fact that I've lost it to the end before I can start thinking about what it was. I have to be like, oh, why is it called train of thought? Then let that thought go. Then, oh, why is this that? Then let that thought go. And then, oh, why is it this? And let that thought go. But I can think, oh, yes, what am I meant to be saying? When I have a conversation with someone, I can't with a person. When I have a conversation with someone, I can't do that because they're waiting for me to speak. I'm just there, kind of thinking, like, I need to remember my train of thought, but I can't remember my train of thought because I'm keeping thinking about this one thing. I need to remember my train of thought, but I can't think of my train of thought because I'm thinking about this one thing. And it's like, just. Ah, oh, my brain. <sighs> if it's not depression, it's not being talkative. You know, it's one thing or another. I'll tell you, I'm the mental chick. Um, but yeah, the main thing what has been bugging me the verge out is YouTube. Because right, I I. Just, they logged into YouTube and then I saw a video that was like, oh, that seems interesting. Um, YouTube has become my life again. Like, from 2015, all I do is watch YouTube all day, every day. And it's different now because I'm watching a lot of, like, I follow um, small businesses and studio vloggers. I'm watching how to make a notebook, how to macrame, how to knit a sleeve, how um, then watching, like, how does Pinterest SEO work? Etsy ads breakdown. I gained, I made a six figure sale in 2020 on Etsy. The truth about Etsy this. Like I've been watching that all the time. I'm sprinkling some true crime here and there. And some D'Angelo Wallace. And then podcasts. So it's not just like how you sort YouTube, but I'm consuming a lot of YouTube. Um, and then I'm making content. Oh, have you watched this video? Um, I, I want to say the video I want to watch, but then at the same time, I'm like, someone say my brain's everywhere, but like, I'm recently, I'm so in my head on how I'm being perceived that I just can't do anything. And it's like, I'm at this point in my life where I'm growing to be more than just people in me and my circle and it's not like outside people and like business things that like I have to be PC, I have to be politically correct, I have to stand a certain way, I have to dress a certain way, I have to act a certain way and it's just not me, like I already have anxiety on social situations and just speaking in general and then adding this extra stress so like what I want to say, I want to say what the channel is because even I was thinking like, oh, she hasn't posted in a while. I was like, oh my god, it's been a week. You're getting a bit too clingy for someone you don't really know. Like you only know them from their video. It's a bit weird. Um, but I was like, oh, what if I get um the account, the channel name wrong, and then her real name has slipped my mind. Uh, her real name. See, you know what I'm saying like same thing like that. Like I don't want people to be offended. Because most of the time, I'm, I'm in situations now where I don't have opportunity to speak and discuss what I'm trying to say. And it's like, 
will she be offended by me saying her real name, her, her legal name? Like, what am I meant to say? Because so many people are offended by everything nowadays. <sighs> this is not where I was meant to get to. I was saying that I am distracted because I want to watch a video by Tearful Design. Or Tearful Design. I think it's Teal. Because that's how you spell the colour, Teal. Um, that's another thing. Like, we had to, like, read it. Like, I have dyslexia. It's very awkward when you're trying to read something and get it wrong. When everyone's looking at you and you're 21. Like, it's just awkward. But I think it's Tearful Design. Um... And she has a nice little Etsy shop. I'm going to link it down below. I can't wait. To, I just can't wait for situations to change. And I can buy from all the Etsy shops and small businesses that I've been collecting. That's so where my Instagram saves. It's getting a bit a lot. Anyways, back to my point. YouTube. I told you I have to follow all that train of thought to come back to the fact that I was talking about YouTube, my brain. Um, I have been younger trying to be a YouTuber um, for the longest of time. From, I want to say 2014. 2014 started with our first channel, was between me and my sisters, and then eventually, maybe 2019, I don't know when, I, I'm on the channel, my channel. The Abby channel, the Abby B channel. <laughs> Even that, I call it Abby B because I read it, I'm just like, anyways. Yeah. And then when I was on here, up until like, whenever I posted that video, I was trying to make it and make content and make it in the mold that works for YouTube. And it just wasn't working, to be honest. I don't know a lot of people, so like, a lot of people watch my videos. I relied heavily on external people having to find me but not knowing a way to market myself that's a thing i still struggle struggle with struggle with now with the whole like being politically correct you know that could be the wrong phrase i'm using but i found out how to market my market myself um one and then i found out how to market myself in certain situations like there's more than like, there's layers to it um and then in November, well, like, in July, but no, then roughly around, like, lockdown beginning, I was like, fuck it, I need an outlet to talk to, and it can't be my friends, it ain't my man, because I don't have one, I haven't had one in a dumb long time, not a dumb long time, but, like, it's been a long time, um, I can't remember my family, but I need to talk. Like, me as a person, I need to talk. And it's when I don't talk that I'm going through the worst. So I thought I'd be like, yeah, I'm going to go back to YouTube. Let me do this. And then it took a while, because like, a lot happened in March, and I didn't upload my first video until November. And a lot of it was... Um, I, at the beginning, I was still trying to make it be a thing. And then eventually I was like... Here. Like I just want to post videos that I can rewatch back. Like some of my favorite, like I watch my YouTube videos, and some of my favorite videos to watch are um like the dumb ones with my friend. That like, when me and my friend went out for like the vlogs, I love watching those and just seeing my life at the time. All the other YouTube style things, I don't really care for. Like. Yeah, I want to try something, but I don't make a whole video based on that. Like, I'm not just documenting my life because why not? <laughs> and I've gone to the point where I so yeah, I was doing that, wasn't working. Started posting and just doing what I want, and then the views are coming. Like, if you're saying I'm back, 71 views. Wait, my average before on views was like average, let's say fifty. Well, some of them will get up like under a hundred, and one video has like four k because of the topic. But most of my video views are thirty and below. On my own videos, coming back seventy one when I started posting in November. My first studio vlog, my my first studio vlog, a hundred and one. Then it was 64. I was like, still high, but maybe like a fluke. Then again, um, 
148. I was like, damn. These the videos are going up. Then I started to do another video where I was doing my reflections and my goals. And that video got seven views. I was like, well, this is a video everyone does at the new year, in the new year. Like, let's review the, do, 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 do. Like, cool, it was late, but everyone does that video. Then I did another vlog and it was like 92 views. Then I was like, okay, cool. Let me try another popular trend um, on studio vlog. There's silent vlogs. And I got 22 views. Well, again, it's still like my average, but compared to like the 90s and late hit in the 100s, let's go back to two. I was like, okay. And then the most recent one I um, uploaded on the 60th of Feb has 169 views. This video does not have a thumbnail. Well, it has a thumbnail, but it's not one I've designed. It's actually just still from my, in like my intro video. It does not have a description because at the time I didn't have time to write one and I just forgot about it. It still doesn't have a description. Like, the description that has is placeholder text that I wrote to know what to write. My description says, short message about video, mentioning links um, will be found or out on the website, so check it out, or something similar. That's a note for me to myself. And then I quickly added in the song I used because of the um, website I got it from. That was all I've done, and I've got a hundred and sixty nine views. I hadn't, I didn't try, like I did try, but I didn't try. And it's like, I'm just I was like, bro. It's like whenever I try to do, it's a lesson. Whenever I try to do things to please others, like oh, other people like, like I don't like try silent videos. Like, silent vlogs, like, maybe because I come from, like, the side of YouTube watch normal vlogs where people talk. So I come to this, like, this studio vlogs type space. I like talking. And I don't just sit down and watch a video. I, I do things. I'm working. So, like, when you're all silent and there's text on the screen, I ain't reading it. So I'm just missing out the info. And then you go back on the next video. Oh, why, why I mentioned last week this? I'm like, you didn't mention Jack. I'm like, oh, I didn't read it. I was like, well, I tried to do that and get everybody else, I got the least views. And it's like, it's not about views, but it's about, I guess, staying true to what I want to do. And this being a space where like, I don't give in to like the algorithm theories and the SEOs and the, the keywords and the hashtag. I just do the fuck I want um I had it still here and yeah so I made this to say there's probably gonna be a time jump in my videos um because my laptop can't store all the videos I have plus more as you guys know my hard drive broke and I haven't bought a new one um, I try to use the cloud um, that comes with my laptop and I just don't want to take up all the files. I'm just like... I was going to do a Caribbean accent, but I know it's going to sound so bad. I don't care. Like no, one's, like, no one cares if they watched... Well, I don't care if someone watched December weekend one. Like, I don't care about that like i didn't film it for people to watch and give their opinion i filmed it filmed it because i like talking like i am 100 fine with filming even this and just not uploading it because like i don't think anyone's watching like and even then the people the 166 people that watch this video they didn't watch it to the end so like bro they clicked on and clicked off like i do not give two fucks like i don't give a shit that's like swearing like i don't give a fucking shit <laughs> um in the most humbling nicest way possible and like it's very different on like my instagram or like my twitter or like whatever but it's like because this platform and social media where i want to be myself and showcase what i like doing which is my business which is sewing which is when England gets the act together, going to see my friends and eating, or doing mini golf, or doing all these fun things, or like my 
birthday part two is filming that ish so i can remember it you know but yeah i was editing a video recently and i didn't like it um like there's certain things i know to film differently like i can't talk while with my camera because it sounds disgusting to hear or like angles and i got a table now so if angles are better i can film um packing videos and it looks decent um or things like my front room has changed and i don't want to be showing how it used to look. i want to show how it looks now or the fact i'm in a new room like these vlogs are so far behind as in we're in we're in we're about to be in march by the next week and today's thursday it's like in four days we're going to be in march three days i don't know how nice works and i'm still posting videos from october like that's like five years, five years, five months of growth. Like it's just being delayed. And yeah, it's great when it comes to like, um, what's that thing? That's loud. Keeping like A, B, Z thing secret because like the things we're working on now that won't come out until next year, till the end of this year and halfway through this year. Like on those, I could talk freely about it. But it's like, uh, no. And then now I put myself in the box of studio vlogs. I feel like any vlog that's not showing work I'm doing can't be a studio vlog. And I mean, I can't post it. Like, it's not meant to be like that, Abigail. Like, your Instagram has rules. Check out my Instagram. Not to follow. Just, like, I have a pretty free feed. Um, but, like, YouTube's not meant to have rules. Like, the views show that when you just do the fuck you want and not give in to the YouTuber template your views go up like on god so I guess it's a video of me rambling and saying like, if the next video you watch it's a time jump and you actually pay attention what well, i don't think anybody was like why the f I don't, why the fuck with you i'm boring but it seems very rude and of lucky like a joke like if you want to keep up with me sure no, I still think it's a bit weird. Like, I'm literally so boring. And I chat bears. But if you want to, maybe I can be a little social experiment. Experiment. Experiment, you know? <laughs> oh, my brain. My headache's kind of eased up. And I've been doing a day in the life on IG. Well, I need to get back to you. That's when I posted from three hours ago. But... <sighs> Sorry, right headache knocked me out, guys. And then I was feeling overwhelmed by life and needing someone to talk to. So, talking to myself because I use my phone and I can see myself. Guys, do you like work on yourself for yourself by yourself? Because we're constantly that's just a long way of saying do you, boo. Um, because life is just. I'm filming it. You just vroom vrooming your bike. Sorry. Um, yeah, it's just a long way to say do you boo. Just you're constantly evolving and changing and that's just okay. Like if you made statements in the past and you change, one let people know you change or they think you're confused, but like you grow, bro. Like I eat cauliflower. I ate cauliflower. I'm talking about hell-bent against. You know? Just, we grow as people. Drink some water. Work on yourself. If you did make it to the end, and it would be interesting for you to stay, and you could follow the train of thought. Oh, if you could follow the train of thought, right, I caught the train, or I got off the train. Write something about a train in the comments. Um, if, and if you didn't, I don't expect anyone to, I barely follow my own train of thought. But yeah, um, I'll see you guys when I see you. Could be, if, I'm actually, if someone is actually watching. Ooh, anxiety coming, like, someone's watching me. I don't ever think I'm actually watching it. And my friend told me, like, she's like, yeah, I watched the video from your birthday. I'm like, why? Like, she's in it. Yeah. 
um but yeah if you actually are watching because for s i can't comprehend why maybe that's oh what kind of that maybe that's just low self-esteem self-esteem so whatever bro if you are keeping up with me i will hopefully see you sometime soon probably will end up being the week after i post this because i'm trying to stay on schedule not because i want to be like oh it's going to be posted every day at the same time the same thing but just because like i like being organized in my life and if i don't write down things to do shit won't get done why is my wardrobe open oh i hate being on the phone like i should have said that because you know people know i'm from alone yeah it's locked down i'm home most of the time just have to go to work today um i need to watch it ellen o'neill because <laughs> Bye guys. See you. Okay, let me not ruin this sticker. <laughs>